Hi everyone, it's Melanie and today I'm sharing with you the journal I made for Nick the Booksmith's Deserted Island Journal Challenge. Four given items and four chosen items. And the given items are some type of glue, and I've got tacky glue. Something to cut with, I chose a pair of scissors. Needle and thread, and I've got some pearl cotton and also a larger needle because I thought that might be easier to poke holes with when binding the signatures. And paper, and I've coffee dyed some grid paper. And the four chosen items are a roll of washi tape. And I went with something that had a smaller design that I thought I could cut apart and use as decoration. My favourite Muji pen. Some chipboard. And I already had a couple of pieces cut to an A6 size for another project that I didn't use, so I used those. And some fabric. And I love this pattern and I've had this for so long and I used a piece that was about 12 by 12 inches. And this is the journal I created. So it's an A6 size and I've used a piece of the selvage from the fabric as the closure. And the book itself is using a Coptic stitch binding and it's really quite loose but um, I don't mind that it's a bit floppy but that's okay. So on the cover I used the fabric to cover the chipboard and I did a bit of hand stitching some cross stitch here and then inside I've used pieces of the fabric to cut apart and the pen and the thread to create some flowers and decorations for the pages. So I actually worked in the signatures before I bound the book together because I thought that might be easier and I actually glued pages together so that I would hide the stitching so you wouldn't see that on the back side. And here I've just used some washi tape as decoration. I've created a pocket, a small little book of extra coffee dyed paper and just some stitching around the edge of the pocket here and I've done a little bit of well I wouldn't I don't know if it's journaling but this was documenting a storm that actually happened during the time I was making the book so I thought that might be appropriate I've got a couple of postcards which are ready to send when I get home uh, and I've made some fabric stamps Another little pocket here with some stitching and a little tag I've made. And the good thing is the paper I used came from a binder book so it already had holes in it so I just folded it so the holes lined up so I didn't really have to punch anything. I just used the fabric and some thread as decoration. And here I've just listed the items that I used to make the journal. So I've saved all the bits and pieces that I cut away and these are the corners of the pieces of fabric that I used to cover the journal and some more stitching here with the pen. This was a bit of cross stitch and I suppose this is the main reason that I chose the grid paper because I knew I wanted to do a lot of hand stitching in there and I thought that would be the easiest way to do the cross stitching. It's just a small quote. There is a pocket here. I have tons of pockets in this journal and I don't know that I'm ever going to fill them all but they're there if I need them. Here's another pocket with a little fold out. I like the way the coffee stained on this one. Compass rose. And again I've used the washi tape behind the holes so that the little images poke out from underneath. Some more stitching of the fabric. It's another little tag that I made using more of the cotton and small squares of the fabric and the paper and the washi tape. Some more pocket, some more fabric, and another one in here, again with another tag 
with just some more thread at the end. So a little bit more journaling again because of the wind that was happening overnight. And maybe these are the days that I've spent on the island. It's another little pocket in here. And here's my attempt at sketching some wattle. And I just used the thread and made some French knots for the wattle flowers. Made a page that looked like a tag, and again using the holes from the paper to put at the end. These are more of the corners that I cut away from the back cover that I've used as flags. And here I did a bit more cross stitching to make it look like some roses, I suppose. And again, these pieces here are just the waste from when I cut away some of the larger flowers from the pieces of fabric. Some more pieces from the washi tape that I cut, a tiny pair of scissors. And I saved everything from the fabric, including the threads from the frayed edges, which I've just used as a bit of decoration here. Again, some more hand sketching of some dandelion. Some more journaling about how I've created the book. And another little card in here. And again, I've tried to use the washi tape and the dark colored pieces of coffee dyed paper in a different way to add some more interest and design to the book. Some little hand embroidered flowers, again with tiny pieces of waste from the fabric to try and look like leaves. It's a small page with another pocket. Some more cross stitching. And here I've created a small thread card and I've wrapped around some extra thread in case I'd like to continue creating in the book. And here's a piece of fabric that I plan to use to hold my needle so that I can take it with me and I'll have everything I need in case I need to do some stitching on the go. So I plan to keep working in the journal. I'd like to put some more decoration on this spread here and fill it up with a lot more journaling. It's another little card. Again, just a collage of some of the waste thread from the fabric and some stitching and some pieces cut from the fabric. Another little pocket and some more hand stitching. And at first I wasn't sure if this washi tape was going to work, but I liked the colors and I thought they matched the fabric quite well. And also I thought you know, the little sewing machine and all the sewing items might be a good, a good match. Some more flowers from the fabric and I've just glued some strips of the waste um, thread around the edge to make a border. And here I've made some flags from the washi and I've got a couple of pieces of paper here which might turn into letters home when I have a chance. And here is a page that actually folds out, maybe for more journaling. And a little kite that I made from some of the fabric. And some tiny little bows that are actually in the washi tape that I cut away. It's another pocket. Some more space to journal and that's the end and so the back cover itself is just left plain and as i mentioned i've got the selvage from the fabric which is great because it's got the name of the manufacturer and the design of the fabric itself and i thought that makes a great little closure around the edge and so i still have a couple of pieces of coffee dyed paper 
and I've got a small amount of fabric left. So there's lots of room to continue decorating, although the journal itself is quite full, um, but it is very flexible, so I think I can still fit quite a bit more in there. And if it gets too big, I might change the way that this actually works to close the journal. Maybe it could go this way. Not sure. Anyway, I had a lot of fun making this book and I look forward to continue working in it and using up the rest of my supplies. So thanks for watching.